In this video, you'll learn about formative assessment tools that can be used on the Chromebook. The first one is ClassKick. ClassKick is a free digital formative assessment tool that allows teachers to create lessons and assessments that students work through on their devices at their own pace. ClassKick is web-based. Teachers can observe student progress in real time and provide immediate feedback. In order to log in, you say whether you're a student or a teacher. You may log in with your Google. ClassKick is web-based. Teachers can observe student progress in real time and provide immediate feedback. In addition to receiving help and feedback from the teacher, it is a great tool for synchronous and asynchronous communication, blended classrooms, personalized learning, and cooperative learning. Under Help and Resources, you'll be able to see several video tutorials that will help you with ClassKick. The next site is called Socrative. Socrative is a web-based student response system. It allows teachers to create simple quizzes. You'll notice that there is a teacher Socrative and a student Socrative. Make sure you log into the teacher one, sign in through your Google credentials, in Socrative, you would be able to make simple quizzes that students can take quickly. Quizzes can be true and false, multiple choice, graded short answer, or allow open-ended responses. Activities can either be teacher-paced for use during classroom discussion or student-paced for use as a more traditional class end exit ticket or quiz. There's also a gaming element called the space race feature that can be set up as a quiz so that teams of students can compete against one another to launch rockets into space. Results can be displayed live in the classroom to facilitate discussion. Results can be displayed live in the classroom to facilitate discussion. Student identity can be hidden. GoFormative is a web-based program that helps with formative and summative assessment. The program allows you to log in, through your Google sign-in. Once in GoFormative, you can create your own assessment by hitting the new Formative Plus button, or you can search a library to find other formatives or groups of formatives. If you decide to build your own formative, there is a series of question types and content that can be added. After building the formative with a series of question types, one can then view student response in real time. The teacher can also have students retake the formative and see data tracking and student progress. The next web-based application is Real-Time Board. The program allows for an expandable space for groups to collaborate and work on items. You may move around the board and even write outside of the board limits. You have many different things over here on the left toolbar that you may use. If you would like to use it on other devices, you may install the Real-Time Board app in the Chrome Web Store. The next extension can be used on websites to annotate and ask questions. You can add it to Chrome. You'll be able to sign in with your Google credentials. Teachers can insert questions, discussions, and insight directly into any website. There are a lot of examples on the site so you can see the lessons. When students go to that lesson, they'll be able to respond to the questions and discussions and then take their own notes. You could use Insert Learning to turn any website into an interactive learning experience. In the next video series, you will learn a little bit about using G Suite apps with your Chromebook. In the next video series, you will learn a little bit about using G Suite apps within your Chromebook.